trust building that Anthony and I did for years, really. And Anthony had started that prior to me. Now, did you bring working title in to help you acquire the rights, or yeah, had you acquired them I already? I had produced a small movie for them uh, <coughs> called Mary and Martha that was just for HBO and, and working title. And I knew them. I had never even met Eric Fellner by face. But I emailed him after we, once we got the rights, which was right. a big, our biggest champagne moment, because it took a lot of years. Then we went out to directors, and James was one of the early choices for us because he, because his documentary background just was exciting to us. And also, right. Man on Wire was a very emotional film, and he had made a movie called Shadow Dancer, a narrative film that was really well done, I thought. And um, he read it, and he was also surprised. He thought it was going to be more of a standard biopic of this scientific man, and was really surprised by it, and s jumped on right away. And his agent appropriately called me and said, oh, we need a development deal, and you have to pay him money. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. We're those kind of producers that have been meeting in cafes and have no money. Right, right. And she was like, oh, you're one of those producers. Like, yes, it's passion. It's all passion. There's no money at this stage. And uh, luckily, James had enough of that in him as well. And, he sort of, we sort of flew him, or he might have flown himself, in fact, to London, because he lives in Copenhagen. And we all met and worked on the script just for a few days. And then, um, at that point, uh, I had emailed Eric Fellner, and we had the rights, and we had James, and so he jumped on there you go. immediately, actually. There you go. That's yeah. a great story.